hello. Today, uh, we're doing a little bit of an experiment. Uh, so the star of this experiment is this Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did find this at the dollar store and it was a dollar and I thought to myself, two things. One, that's a great deal. Uh, and two, I thought to myself, I bet you can make some pretty good cereal bars with that. And we're gonna see if I'm right. So, that's part one of the experiment. Part two is, obviously, if you mix together cereal and gooey marshmallows and butter and vanilla, it cannot be bad. So like, what kind of an experiment is that? Really, it's a horrible one. So, and actually this is a horrible experiment because I'm pretty sure in terms of science, you're supposed to only have one variable, but I'm not a scientist, okay? I'm just a girl, all right? So we're also gonna add another variable and we're gonna add some instant coffee to the mix because it's Dunkin' Donuts cereal. It just makes sense. All right, so we're gonna use roughly two thirds of a bag of big old marshmallows. Obviously this Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Six tablespoons of butter. Some vanilla extract. And this is where it gets a little bit crazy. Possibly, possibly instant coffee, but I'll tell you if that's gross. All right, so first here I'm taking the butter and I'm melting it. And while I'm doing that, I am ripping up my big marshmallows into smaller pieces, uh, which if you just use mini marshmallows, you wouldn't have to do this, but I didn't have any. That's just how I roll. Um, so I also don't recommend using your hands to move around the butter, use a spoon. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you my little ripped up marshmallows there. There they are. Just use mini marshmallows, it'll be so much easier. So once my butter's all melted, I am gonna add in those marshmallows. I add in like four cups of, it would be four cups of mini marshmallows um, since I ripped them up. Uh, and then I'm just sort of stirring them until they get all melted. And once they're all melted, I'm going in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to mix that in. All right, so for one cup, it's about a teaspoon. So for multiple bars, let's do like a tablespoon. That seems like a lot. Let's do like half of this tablespoon. Uh-oh. It's not dissolving like I thought it would. It's sort of just crystally. Maybe if we keep mixing it. Ooh, what a color. It smells weird. take this off the heat and I'm gonna add I'm gonna start with four cups of cereal and then I don't know if my phone stopped recording or if I shut it off or what happened here but I have no footage of me putting in the cereal I have no footage of me mixing the cereal I have no footage of me putting it in a pan um, so welcome to the worst YouTube video you've ever seen whatever. Uh, I mixed in the cereal, I put it in a dish, and now that dish is in the fridge. We'll check back on that dish in the fridge in like 30 minutes, and then I will, I will dish about the dish. That was dumb. All right, see you guys later. First of all, it is probably for the best that you did not get to see the footage of me putting the cereal mixture in here, because it was a struggle indeed. Uh, but it turned into what looks like a very strange casserole. All right.
Now that is not bad. Or no, it doesn't look pretty. But it tastes pretty good, actually. That is good stuff. Yeah, okay. That was pretty good. Uh, I will put like the recipe, the ex exact-ish recipe that I used down below in the description. Uh, if you wanna try that, again, I know it's not beautiful, like you probably like don't wanna bring it to a potluck or anything, but if you wanna sit alone by yourself and eat a whole pan of them, which one I might do, no, or if you just wanna make them for like your family or something, or you know what, if you make them and you don't want your family, like if you don't want your family to eat things, just like make these and put it in a Tupperware container and tell everyone that it's a casserole and no one will eat them, I promise. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you decided to make these, let me know how it turned out. Maybe you were able to make them more beautiful than I did. Or maybe they were a fail for you. I don't know, let me know. And then also, if you really enjoyed this, you wanna see more, more experiments in the kitchen, subscribe for more of that. Yeah, okay, so that's all from me. Have a great, have a great whatever you're having. <laughs>